How's it going guys, it's Josh here, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you'll know I am a big fan of Moto Speed keyboards. They seem to have one of the biggest ranges of cheap RGB mechanical keyboards, and all the ones I've reviewed so far at least have been pretty decent. So let's check out this one today, it's called the Moto Speed CK80, and was sent out to me by a company called BZ Future. Okay, so first off, let's see what's in the box. There is literally just the keyboard, guys, that's it. There's no keycap puller, no accessories, although we do get some instructions. Now next, I'm going to talk about what makes this different, at least visually, from most other RGB mechanical keyboards, because let's be honest, a lot of them just all look the same nowadays. So there's three things that I think set this apart from others when you look at it. The first is the RGB strip that runs around the base of the keyboard. It does actually go all the way around the back as well. The second thing is the semi-low profile keycaps, you don't tend to see these on that many keyboards in this category. And the third thing is this wheel on the side. Now Drivo did this on their Blademaster keyboard, so it's not unique to the Motospeed CK80, but again it is an extra feature that you don't see on a lot of keyboards. Now speaking of the Drivo Blademaster, check this out guys. I mean, I know the switches are recessed on this one and it's slightly larger as well, but if you compare the shape of them at least, they're pretty much identical. I think somebody has definitely had some inspiration here. Anyway, let's talk about build quality. So I'll be honest, I've seen better, the entire keyboard is made of this grey coloured plastic, there's no metal anywhere. And because there's no metal, it does flex if I try to bend it, and it will occasionally creak when pressing on it in certain places. There's also no braided cable, and yeah, it just doesn't feel as premium as other keyboards I've used at this price point. Which is a bit surprising for a Moto Speed keyboard, I've usually found them to be pretty good in terms of build quality. And it's not like this is the cheapest of the bunch either. Let's talk about the keycaps next. Now I've got no problem with the quality here, in fact they're actually rather good. They are PBT and the text isn't printed on so it'll never fade. As I mentioned earlier, the keycaps are semi-low profile, just a little bit shorter than most keycaps. Although they look lower profile than they actually are when they're on the keyboard, I think this is due to the translucent strip around the bottom and the fact they're slightly recessed into the chassis. It's quite a unique look, again there's not a lot of keyboards that use these kind of keycaps, and it does affect the typing experience quite a lot, more on that later. Now since we just talked about the keycaps, let's talk about the switches. So there's not much information available online about these switches, however they're called Zeus switches and they're silver. They're also optical, so rather than relying on a mechanical trigger to activate the key press, they instead use a laser. When the key is up, the laser is blocked, but when it's pressed, the laser is allowed to pass through and therefore activates the key press. It's a fairly new type of switch and offers several advantages over traditional mechanical switches. For example, there's no contact friction, so they generally feel smoother. They also offer faster response times, and contact corrosion isn't an issue because it doesn't have any, therefore resulting in a longer lifespan. Now I can't comment on the durability of this particular brand because A, I've not heard of this brand of switches before, and B, I don't have time to test the 50 million key press rating. But I can at least show you what they sound like. Here's a type test. So yeah, they're quite noisy just like Cherry MX Blues. As regards feel though, they're quite different. Now of course they still have that familiar clickiness that we all know and love, however these optical switches have an unusually high actuation point. This, combined with those semi-low profile keycaps, really does make the typing experience very enjoyable. I feel like I can type easier on this keyboard versus a keyboard with standard keycaps. So let's move on to the RGB lighting. It is fully RGB so every key can be a different colour, although it's definitely not the brightest backlighting in the world. The RGB strip that runs around the keyboard has four different modes that can be changed using FN plus Home. You can change the colour of modes 2 and 3 by pressing FN and Page Up, there are seven colours to choose from. As regards the main backlighting effect, there are 15 to choose from. You can press FN plus Print Screen to switch between each mode. I'll show you the effects now.
Now a lot of them are rainbow effects, so you can't change the colour of those, but for the single colour modes you can change the colour using FN plus insert or delete. So it's got a very nice selection of effects, Moto Speed are normally pretty good when it comes to RGB. We also get access to fully custom profiles so you can start blank and basically customise the colour of every key. It's pretty handy for gaming. Finally, the wheel on the side of the keyboard has two uses. The first is to change the brightness of the backlighting, but if you click it in it then becomes a volume dial for your PC. I guess it's kind of handy and I believe the Moto Speed software allows you to customise the function of this wheel, including macros for all of the keys on the keyboard. However, unfortunately during testing I wasn't able to get it to detect my keyboard, but the capability is there. So, the CK80, an interesting offering from Moto Speed. If you really want to try optical switches, this keyboard is quite a cheap entry point. It's also very nice to type on with its semi-low profile keycaps. And once again, Moto Speed always deliver when it comes to RGB effects. They're all extremely smooth looking and there's a great selection. Not to mention the nice little extra accent strip going around the edge. I'd like to see some more premium materials used in the future for the chassis of the keyboard as it is a little on the plasticky side. But hey, who needs better build quality when you have RGB lighting? Anyway, if you want to pick this keyboard up, I'll have a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video today, guys, I'd appreciate a like rating. Subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to say hi in the comments. That's like literally my favourite part of YouTube is reading your guys' comments. With that being said, thanks for watching today, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one.